Yes, what is it? Oh, oh, hello, Ned. I, I'm sorry I'm in such a bad mood. I've had the hiccup all morning. Yes, yes, I've tried holding my breath and running in place. <laughs> yeah, of course I've tried drinking water. Oh, come on, stop that, Sprocket. You know what I hate it most about the hiccups? It's all this dumb advice that people give you. Nothing, nothing makes me as grumpy as the hiccups. Oh, stop that barking, Sprocket. And stop laughing. Oh, you better not push your luck today because I have the hiccups. <laughs> yes, of course I've tried water. Even Schimmelfinny suggested that. And I've tried a bag on my head. A dog dish? A dog dish? Now, how can a dog dish possibly cure the hiccups? Oh, I don't want to be fed. All I ever do is feed the dog. And at these prices, it'd be cheaper to keep a moose. <laughs> I'll eat it off the floor, Sprocket. Sometimes I wonder why I keep a dog here at all. <laughs> down in Sweetwater Grotto. Yeah, I'm in charge of construction. He's in charge of mistakes. <laughs> oh, yeah, my first mistake was asking her to help. Well, I'm going up to the garden to get radishes. Oh, good. We'll be hungry as gorgs when we're through. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when I'm finished, I'll come help you with your building. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, oh, hey, uh, that's okay, Moki. You don't have to bother. Yeah, yeah, you probably have a poem to write or a picture to paint. Yeah. Oh, but I like to build beds. Boats, Moki. Boats. Oh. I, I always figure that you do the artistic stuff and we do the practical stuff, eh? Well, yeah. Yeah, see you around, Moki. But, uh, honestly, just because I write poems and stuff doesn't mean I can't build beds. Yeah. Uh, Beds. Oh, what's the difference? Oh. What's that? Oh, no! I can't get into the garden. <laughs> what's that terrible smell? Julia, what's that lovely fragrance? Oh, it's a new invention, Ma. This trap is really tricky. I'm using bait. <laughs> yeah, how could a faggot resist the aroma of garlic gumdrops? Look, that won't be hard. Oh, I don't understand these things, my wonder child. You know that. Oh, it's easy, Ma. Yeah, yeah, the faggot goes into the trap for the gumdrop. Whap. The cave door closes, and whump, the red flag goes up, and the bell goes bing, 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 bing. <laughs> oh, come help me arrange these flowers, Junior. Why do you want to catch fraggles anyway? I don't know, Ma. It's hard to explain. Because they're there. Oh, I can't get into the garden. Well, I'd better go get Red and Gobo. Now, wait a minute. Surely I can do something about this myself. I can write more than poetry in this book. Um, let's see. Problem. Trap at door. Result. Starvation for fraggles. Um, solution. Get Gorg to remove trap. Hmm, why would the Gorg do that? Because he's got a fraggle. Oh, 
Yes, yes, what a great idea. I could throw myself into the trap, sacrifice myself for Fraggle kind of. Ooh, what a splendid dream. Give my all. I shall be sacrificial princess. Ooh, the princess part is fun, but the sacrifice could be painful. Hmm. Wait a minute. I have a better idea. The doorway to the garden is blocked, huh? Yes, a huge trap baited with a garlic gumdrop. Oh, but if we can't get the radishes in the garden, we'll die. And if we can't get to the trash heap, we won't have our wisdom. We'll oh. die without ever knowing why. Oh, never fear. Here's what we'll do. Now, we gotta do something. Right, and this is what it'll be. Okay, Wembley, Boober, you check the pantry and count the radishes. All of you seem to forget that it is my job to gather radishes in the Borg's garden. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. So what? So? It is my job to get rid of the silly trap, and I have a wonderful idea. It can't possibly work. You tell her, Boober. You haven't even heard it yet. Well, let's face it, Moki. Your plans are worse than garlic gumdrops. You guys never like my plans, do you? Oh, well, you probably wouldn't like this one either. It doesn't matter. It's all right. Uh, let me take care of this. <sighs> Moki! Oh, <laughs> Don't worry about my plan, Gobo. It's perfectly all right, really. Well, hey, come on. You're my pal. I want to know what it is you want to do. Well, oh, no, no. It doesn't matter. I, I can carry out my plan by myself. Well, yeah, but can I at least help? Um, no, thank you. Uh, excuse me, I had things to take care of. Uh, Moki, will you come for us then? We're almost finished building the boat. We'll wait for you in the grotto. Oh, all right. Oh, Gobo, I think you'll be proud of me. Oh, yeah, sure. Sure, Moki. Gobo will be proud, won't he? Oh, you don't mind being sacrificial, princess? Oh, good. By the way, I don't know your name. Hmm? Oh, you're not going to tell me, are you? Well then, I'll just call you Rags. Uh, what was that? Oh, why, thank you. I did do a rather elegant job of sewing you. <sighs> you know, Rags, you're so pretty. I'm going to miss you when you're gone. and tags and no one thinks you're real and when you go they'll never know the loneliness I feel dance with me my ragtime queen before I set you free on lonely days you'll know the ways that you
Sprocket. <laughs> hey, Sprocky, I, I want to apologize. <laughs> hey, where are you hiding, Sprocket? <laughs> he can't be outside. He's afraid of thunder. <laughs> well, I don't believe it. <laughs> Sprocket. I want to apologize for all those terrible things I said about you, but you know how I am when I have the hiccups. <laughs> it's going to rain. Oh. Hello. What? Oh, Ned Chimelfany, don't shout boo at me. It will not cure my hiccups. Well, I gotta go now. My dog is mad at me. Sprocket, I'll leave the door unlocked for you. Oh, Sprocket, come home. <laughs> So bored. We've been waiting for Moki for hours. This is my kind of boredom. Why can we sail on the boat? Because we're waiting for Moki. Mm. Well, I want to do something, anything. Yeah. Hey, let's read the postcard from my uncle traveling Matt. Almost anything. Dear Nephew mm. Gobo, today is very sad for me. I found a great treasure, but I lost it again. I was strolling about in a place where many of the silly creatures of this world congregate, when all of a sudden I saw one of the creatures drop something. I rushed to see what it was and made the most amazing discovery. Inside of a brightly colored container was a cold stone. I mean, it was very, very cold. Furthermore, it sparkled like a diamond. Obviously, this was a stone of great magic. I quickly put the cold stone in my pocket and went in search of its true owner. But it was no use. The wizard who had dropped it was nowhere to be found. Eventually, I had to give up. And then I went to a quiet corner to examine the wondrous stone again. And I learned the awful truth. Somebody had stolen the magic cold stone. All that was left in my pocket was a lot of water. And so it was that I learned that in this world there are magic cold stones which cry if they are stolen. Love, your uncle traveling man. I'm still bored. And I'm still hungry. They say when a fraggle starts to starve to death, his nose itches. How come we're waiting for Moki and her plan anyway? We should be doing something about that trap. Moki's dumb plan will never work. Oh, come on now. You can't call it a dumb plan till you've heard it. Now to introduce you to my friends. Yeah, Red, Moki might have a great plan. Sure, and the rocks might turn to do's or dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it's not very likely. Moki's poems are better than her plans. Yeah, and her poems aren't much. Oh. <laughs> Remember the one she recited yesterday about light birds and death? Oh, oh you know what I thought it was about? What? Four hours long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was pretty boring, all right. Uh, Moki! Moki! Uh, Moki! Oh, no, we were just kidding! We were just kidding! Oh, 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 Moki! They don't even like my poetry. Even Gobo. Oh, how dare they call my white birds and death poem boring? Well, it has to be long to give the birds time to migrate. Oh, well, 
Time for my plan. Goodbye, my raggedy friend. It's, it's terrible. No, no, Junior. I think catching fraggles is terrible. You think catching fraggles is wonderful. Go look in the mirror. You've forgotten which one of us you are again. No, I haven't, Mommy. I'm the one that killed the fraggle. Oh, did you really, son? It's a sad, sad thing to kill a creature. What'll I do? I think you'd better bury it, dear. I want to give it a funeral. Oh, that's very sweet of you, dear. I'm not sweet. I killed it. Oh, poor Junior. You must feel terrible. I only wanted to keep it in a cage. Just to play with it. Oh, Junior, you're breaking my heart. Come. I'll give you a nice box to put the fraggle in. Oh, okay, Mommy. Mookie's dead. But she couldn't be dead. She, she's off somewhere working on her plan. It was Mookie. I'm sure it was Mookie. No, no, it wasn't her. She's my best friend. The plan must have gone wrong. An accident. But she's my best friend. You don't understand. She's my best friend. Bobo, Red, I'm okay. Oh, they can't hear me. I can't hear them. Oh, what have I done to my friends? Poor little Fago. You got twapped. You got broke. It was only meant to be a sort of joke. But the joke isn't funny. I thought, you little fraggle, when you were caught, poor little fraggle, we'd be friends, 
dear little Fwaggle. Till the end, dead little Fwaggle. But the end isn't friendly anymore. the grave here, and then I'll salute it. Uh, oh, I need my bugle. Oh. I never did tell her how much I really did like her poetry. I never got to tell her so many things. I wonder, do I need a tombstone? No. No, no, tombstones are for names. Fraggles don't have names. Her name was Moki, and she had friends that loved her. And that's something you'll never have. <laughs> Bobo, Red, oh, please look this way. We've got to get their attention. <gasps> the bell. <laughs> that's it. But how to ring the bell without getting trapped, um... Oh, a long stick! Um, oh, nothing here. I've got to find something. I'm so sorry, little Fraggle. But I'll say farewell with the Gorg's finest salute. The official and serene Holy Gorg Toot to the Dead. <gasps> You're right. She belongs with us in the rock. Yeah. Oh, where are doozer sticks when you need them? Of course. Another fraggle? But what's that? I don't know, but now's our chance to get to Moki. Ooh. Oh, there are no fraggles in there. Thank goodness. I'm gonna put this old trap away. These funerals are emotionally exhausting. Yeah. You have to. It's a dummy. It's a dummy. It's a dummy. Uh -huh. it's, it's a, a dummy. dummy. <laughs> hey, dummy Gord, you captured a dummy fraggle. Yeah. <laughs> Why, you oh. fraggles? What? What? Wait. Hey. Hey, Ma. Good news. I captured a dummy! <laughs> I captured a dummy! <laughs> hey! Hey, mommy! Ah! Hey, mommy! The idea with Rags the doll was a great one, Moki. Oh, Say, yeah. I'm sorry we made fun of your plan. Well, as a plan, it was okay. As a trick, it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we let Moki name our new boat? Yeah, yeah. 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 And then we can go exploring in it. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have something to say. Moki, I'm sorry we made fun of your poems. They're so beautifully tragic. Would you do the one again about white birds and death? Well, of course, little booper. Oh, no. 
Good. I'll take the part of the grave digger. And that's what we'll name the boat. What? The grave digger? No! The white bird! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Lo, as the fiery sun doth wend its way towards westward rest, then do the birds, the white, white birds, fly to the sky, fly up, fly on, on to... Ooh, Sprocket, does that mean you've forgiven me? Oh, I'm glad, and you'll be happy to know my hiccups are gone, so I won't be grumpy at you. Oh, oh, the storm is over. Isn't that pretty? Flock of white birds flying in the sunset. Oh, 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 staying on that wet porch has given you a cold. You know how grumpy you get when you have a cold. <laughs> I'm only teasing, only teasing. <laughs>